Hey guys, welcome back to Digi Bros. I'm yeah. drinking a double shot. You're drinking lean. Hi, this guy. <laughs> it helps him sleep. Illuminati. Oh, I shit. I forget the rest of that. I this guy called this a black this. eye when it's just a brewed coffee with two shots of espresso. Mm -hmm. One shot is red eye. Oh. Oh, that guy was very with helpful. It. And then, like, the, the lady barista there just looked at me with this hate in her eyes. Like, she, <laughs> she literally crossed her arms, sighed. And just looked at me, I think. I was like, damn, what did I do? You smell bad, man. What a bitch. I probably do smell bad. Nah, she totally ate Sun Um, Sun Dede. She was your wife. At dude. the end of the last episode, I was going to tell a, a brief story um, about that AP English class again. This is another thing I, I kind of got go. in trouble for. But it was weird. I didn't get in trouble for this in the sense of, like, like her confronting me about it mm -hmm. it was just that she wrote like a long note in um in response to it oh. and this this was the moment that i realized that this woman was who was your teacher uh, or do you not want to say i don't know her name i have oh. no idea dude i don't remember any uh -huh. of my fucking teachers especially not one i only had for three months and didn't like um because like i said she was very like first of all she was very prissy and she was very oh. like uh, like that kind of attitude you know and um and like I said, she had like her very clear what the story means to her, and therefore that's what <laughs> what the lesson is and stuff like that. But um, there was one time that she asked everybody in the class to take five quotes that we liked from some other piece of media and analyze them, right, for like one page each. So I did like a few song lyrics, like mm -hmm. um, of course I think I did the the kiosk in my temporal lobe is shaped like Rosalind Carter line from a. Uh, Amputecture by the Mars Volta, the song oh. Tetragrammaton, um, which I could analyze that later if you want. But um, <laughs> they, I, I did like all these things. But one of the quotes I decided to do. Do you remember? You've seen the Boondocks, right? Yeah. You know the Martin Luther King episode where he gives the whole speech about niggas wax and wane, niggas love to complain, niggas hate to rush, niggas or yeah, niggas hate. Mm. Mm. Love, love oh. to, love to sit around, hate to hurry, whatever. He gives this whole, sp like, basically the start of the speech is he says, "Shut up, you ignorant niggers," and then like goes on this whole rant, right? Because he had gotten like reanimated from the dead and shit like. I that. thought he was in a like in the the canon of the Boondocks was he was in a coma. Right. For, yeah. Like, he was in years. a coma for thirty years. He wakes up and decides that black culture has run itself into the ground, and he gives this whole speech about how oh, yeah, everyone's just that, everyone's just niggers now, and so. um it's a phenomenal episode. I decided to write about it and analyze it for my class. And um, <laughs> the, 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 the funny thing is that my teachers, what she wrote in response, first of all, she was clearly offended. And second of all, what she started off with, Martin Luther King did not say this. Like... Like she, like, like, she thought I didn't know, like, she didn't understand the context, even though I had explained the context in the page, like, she was so blinded by her offendedness that she just was, like, completely misunderstood the point of it and gave me this whole, like, rant that I was like, what? You've missed the point. It's satire. Like, that's what the point of the thing is. So, um, I think she docked my grade significantly for that, and I was like, what a fucking bitch. I, I wrote an analysis. It was completely valid. Just because she doesn't agree with it, like, the, the idea, doesn't mean the analysis is invalid. That is true. So, she can go fucking choke on a dick. But, um, Jesus. Oh, my God. Triggered. <laughs> I probably shouldn't say that, because I'm Should probably not. on, like, a government watch list after that, uh... <laughs> after the... After the essay. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... Is that a pencil? Yeah, it is a pencil. How do oh, you know? Because yeah. I read... <laughs> I yeah, read so the lines. and funnily enough, I was telling my my friend who's a uh, pencil, my my, uh, my my black friend who considers himself like borderline Black Panther sometimes, was telling me that he did the exact same thing with that speech <laughs> in school once, um, uh, but in a different context, and he actually got away with it. They uh, no one questioned it. I think because he was the only black kid at an all white school at the time, and no one was gonna tell him that uh, he couldn't say that. So, uh, yeah, good for him. That's, uh, it's you, Jimmy, if you ever watch this. Ooh, Not Jimmy. Like that fucking cracker. Also known as Nino. I'm gonna kill him. He's Nino210. An, he's an anime YouTuber. His Twitter is a nonstop stream of him being mad at everyone. 
Wait, that just closed again. Usually yeah, I didn't get either it. white people or feminists. Anyways, what are you guys up to? What's going on in this game? I feel like there's been a lot of these identical caves. <sighs> yeah, the, uh, it's, same a, textures. it's a trade kind of deal with these monkeys, and they own the caves, and I have to get all the way down to Talarama. So, and, can, so I can learn the, the most important the psi power in the game. Ever. This, this runs into the same problem that the Pokemon games do with Pokemon. the caves, where it's like... They probably put a bunch of caves because it was easy to reuse the same textures and save yourself some time. Well, on it's very on game. purpose. Yeah. Like it, yeah, it's meant to do that. Right, it's but like it also puzzle. like it's the caves are always more boring than anything else in the game. Mole playing rough. No, don't worry. That was I hated the caves in Pokemon as a kid, dude, because I always Fucking got Zubat. lost. So I always had to have someone. Really, um, you got lost? Yeah, dude. I. I had no ability to navigate caves when I was a kid. You didn't draw the the caves on a no. map. You didn't make your own map. And the, like, the internet was at a point where there were strategy <gasps> guides that could guide you through a cave, but not necessarily like you didn't have pictures of them back then. But, like now, when I play Pokemon and I get to a cave, I just go to Game FAQs Sorry. and pull up a giant fucking JPEG of the whole cave, and I can easily see where everything is. But I would get lost, especially on Victory Road, because that shit was confusing. So, um, I would always get some older kid in my neighborhood to do it for me. Like, whichever one would be willing. Great. Okay. He's going home now. Wait, did you already talk to the old man monkey? Uh... I thought that's who you know. learned it from. Yeah, I learned it from that guy. No, yeah. like, like the monkey monk you. that, like, levitates. Whoa, yeah, what the fuck? Like, yeah. You just didn't see it. I see. Damn. No, you that dude's, it. like, the best. So now you can teleport between towns? Yes, like, that's yeah. when Ness uh, enters the stage in Smash. Yeah, that's, that's what, what he's oh, doing. Oh, shit. Side teleportation. And if you if you hit something while trying to take off... Oh, yeah, wait, like... I'll just show it. I'll just show it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so you have to have enough speed and room. It's like Back to the Future. You gotta go 88 miles per hour. Yeah, but, uh... Yeah, if you don't have enough future. room, you just... <laughs> you oh, yeah, I've seen It also wastes your psi. Yeah, that's fine. PP, really. I definitely recognize that. Yeah, and then Mother 3, there's a... Uh, what's it called? It, there's a coffee table that uh, Lucas rides. And that's what his intro is in Smash Brothers. Okay, let's see if I can get up here. I think this is right. I feel like I skipped over something important. Jesus, I am still uploading that stupid little nerf thing. I completely what? forgot about it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The internet. It's not the internet. It is a, I mean, it is the internet, it is but it is a, it's a much bigger file than I anticipated it's like it being. 400 megabytes, I thought you said. 450 megabytes. It's not even that big. Yeah, it's not that big, but... Like, the video files for the Earthbound playthroughs are at least, like, a gig and a half each. Yeah. They're fucking massive for whatever reason. Because... The you, render setting. You keep insisting on making them 1080p, that's why. Hey, guys, I do it for you. Like, they you realize that... Me. You realize that we are playing, like, Dark Souls, like, a modern HD game, and I, I render it all in 720, and fucking Earthbound, a Super Nintendo game... <laughs> Is being rendered in 1080p. Yeah, I see those pixels, man. Yeah, man, I can tell the difference between a real pixel and a fake pixel. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh. Shadow pixels. <laughs> so, uh, Brandon, are you excited for the announcement of Mother 1 getting ported to the... Uh, I'm kind of... I, I, I mean, I, I don't like Mother 1 as much. It's just harder to look at and... Right. The well, backgrounds are, are for they, the fights uh, are a bit Are they less updating dynamic. it at all? Cause... No, no, it's just a straight it's a emulation. Straight, it's like this. Yeah, it's exactly like this. Okay. It's just a different name. It's not but, Mother. But they've now translated it. Earthbound Zero? Mm -hmm. what is it? Earthbound Zero is what <coughs> people call it. It only took 23 years? Earthbound Beginnings. Or whatever. Yeah, Earth, yeah, beginnings. Oh, yeah, Earthbound Beginnings. Star Fox Zero. Well, everyone calls it Earthbound Zero before it, the official title uh, of Earthbound Beginnings. Come on, guys, you can give it HD graphics. And so, but the best part of it is that it suggests that there will probably be an Earthbound. Three. Yeah, why would they do the first one and not the third, third one? Yeah. I, I don't know, and it's weird, but I feel like everyone who's an Earthbound fan is going to buy Earthbound Beginnings just in the hope that that propels them to make the third one. Like, You're not even going to play it or to... like it. It's just, oh, <laughs> Didn't God. you say there was like leaked info that they were gonna make the third yeah, one? Yeah, there's like some email that I read about that was leaked that talked about Earthbound Forever, so I assume that's Mother really, Three. I think Earthbound Three would look great. I really like Earthbound 3's story, like out of the, the most out of all of them. 
I really like the world of Mother 2, though. Doesn't it look... Doesn't Earthbound 3 look pretty, though? Like, yeah, it looks, look nice? it looks like, really good. Like, even better than Mother 2? Well, yeah, it came out, like, ten years later. Well, it <laughs> doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be as good. Yeah, but, like, it, everything's just updated. It's just graphics. graphically. Yeah, it's Game Boy Advanced. Yeah, the first Earth, uh, Mother game looks like Peanuts, kind of. <laughs> yeah, it's just very drab and sparse. I have to be yeah, honest, I kind of forgot where to go. It's funny, though, because uh, this <laughs> game, like, more so than most Super Nintendo games, this game looks like a GBA game. Because, like, to me, the GBA... Because the GBA is pretty She's much on, like, build, like build. slightly above the graphical capabilities of the Super Nintendo. But, like, what was cool about GBA games is they're all really bright, because the original GBA wasn't backlit, <laughs> so, like, they had to make the games really fucking pop off of that shitty-ass screen. And then once you did get a backlit one, then the games were, like, dazzling because they were so bright. And you were like, oh, man, this is awesome. So that's uh, part of why GBA games tend to have some of my favorite, like, uh I like really scary teleporting. Shigesato a toy. Um, for a great example, compare, like, A Link to the Past against the Minish Cap. Where, like, A Link to the Past is all very dark colored and subdued, whereas... The Minish Cap is extremely bright and I've, pretty. I've never played the Minish Cap, but I know it's you great. Like, love it. I love it. It's one of my favorite Zeldas. Wait, Lou Reed. It's quote. mostly because like the the main like gimmick of the game is that you you shrink and grow. So you you're you spend the, your time either in like a tiny micro link form or in normal form. And basically, what they did was like let's say you're in the main town right and you're normal link and you go into people's houses and you talk to the people and shit like that but then you turn into small link and you go into their houses and you can go into like the crevices in the walls and shit and like go into where the minish live which are these tiny they're basically like the borrowers if you know anything about that or the secret world of arietti like yeah that's the same like concept and so it's like these little people who live in the walls of the houses and stuff well, they, they go in there people. And so, like, I love that because it, it like, it changes the density of the world so much. Where, like, you go into a, you go into a, an item shop that in any other game would just be an item shop. But then it's also, like, home to these, these little creatures that live in there and have their own story and their own reason that they're there. So, like, a house or an item shop is no longer just an item shop. Now it's, like, something deeper and more interesting. And so, like, the whole world is like that. Everywhere you go... There's a miniature version that's different from the, the version you experience as Big Link. And I love that because, um... I think we still got some time. Oh, yeah. Uh, you want to do 20 minute episodes, not 15. What that's was the... Sure. When did we start this? 38? Yeah. Okay, yeah, we've got plenty of time. Mm -hmm. Um, anyways, like, um, it's funny. People always talk about, like, how you should get out and see the world and stuff like that. They're like, oh, the world's so big and there's so much out there to see. Like, and I'm like... In real life or... Yeah, in real life. Like, people always say stuff like that, right? Oh, you gotta get out there. You gotta see all the all the, all the the great stuff that's I out there. That. And I do agree with it. But at the same time, I think people undervalue, like, the minutia of the world. Where, like, if you go somewhere and you just really study, like, one room, like, there's so much interesting shit in any... any like, I could look at my floor and see like a stain on the carpet and it's like there's a whole story behind that like why it's there you know like everywhere you go there's a there's a million stories to be told by your surroundings and like that's what makes places interesting to me like when i go somewhere new i don't like if i go to a new city like i go to a hotel or something I, i've done this every year at otakon like uh i'll explore the whole hotel you know and like try to figure out like the layout of it and what kind of place it is and like learn it really well and I, I like doing that i like memorizing like small areas and like figuring out what a small area is about more so than like going to see all the big monuments and see oh all the big things in the world it's like i want to see all the small things in a in a more concentrated area this is why i need to be immortal in order to accomplish everything i want to do oh my that god now is my that josh coming work. up Oh, oh it's void. shit, it's void. God, I meant to say fucker wired in the right of the... Oh, fucker God. right in the pussy. It's now my life's worth to make you immortal. We're playing Earthbound, void. Me, just, you it's you just me. Am I in on this now? Yeah, yeah I guess yeah, if you yeah, want to pull up a chair. Yeah. There's some chairs over there. Or you can sit on... The amp? I don't know. You can sit on Conrad's lap. Yeah. 
Yes, I'll show, I'll show them Trevor's lap. Sorry, code mm. in 10 seconds. I don't know the code. Oh, we were just talking about Otakon, kind of. Not really. <laughs> like, it was mentioned in passing, but, uh... It's kind of... Wait, we're not going to talk about Otakon, because me and Boyd talked about it for, like, three episodes of Metroid Prime. Yeah. <laughs> Which is still not uh, being released yet. It's funny, like, I feel like I've brought it up in like every pl playthrough. Like one time I've mentioned, like, oh, me and Boyd are doing Metroid Prime, and like, you know, it'll happen eventually. Right. Well, I don't want to start Hype releasing them until Prime. we have like a like, like, I don't know. I might wait till we have all of it, Hold just on. to be sure. So that would that'd uh, probably be the best thing to do. Right. Speaking of Metroid Prime. Yeah, talk about the travesty real quick. quick oh that happened God, on a Nintendo's. Did we talk about that? Did we in, uh, in the last? Yeah, episode? Well, I, I uh, everyone's gonna watch that. <laughs> just, just say real quick, like two minutes. <laughs> All right, fine. Metroid Prime Federation Force, which is clearly some like a joke? low tier free to play <laughs> fucking. Uh, first-person shooter. Not free to play though. I thought it was. Uh, it's not free to play, but it looks like a free to play game. Yeah. Like one of those free to play Steam games, like Spiral Knights or something. I don't know why it gives hey, me Spiral that impression. Knights is pretty good. Is it? Well, oh. yeah. <laughs> I, it just it, it's okay. Better example would be Magicka. Like, uh, like just kind of free game. No, it's not free. No, oh, it's not free. God, <laughs> gross. Your examples are not good. Uh. Um, just well, there's a, it's like a flash game. There's a yeah. lot of free to play no. like MMOs and stuff like that, and like multiplayer games that are just like they look okay, but they they always have like kind of shitty controls, and they're just not that fun to play, or yeah. they're they're not that they don't have the polish of a real game, and that's what bothers me about Federation Force. It did not look like a Nintendo game, like. Nintendo games are known for their polish and their impact and like their pomp you know and circumstance. when I shoot a gun in a video game it has to feel good and the, the the guns looked all floaty and gross in that I mean it was only a one minute preview but it was enough for everything to look gross the graphical style looked gross the the weapons looked gross the environments looked gross and none of it looked like Metroid at all it yeah, clearly man. was just a game that they put together without the intention of it being a metroid game use and then your imagination like, who are you even playing in it's that the, game it's the bastard child of the metroid series yeah I it think is they, the uh, Star Fox adventures of yeah, the Metroid. it really series. if other m wasn't already then it definitely is but i think um, i rented other m at some point i was like i haven't played any other metroid games I that's not a good place to start hit, you, hit, you hit a low when other, when like your game is sold at like five below right. oh shit <laughs> yeah, i think i'm pretty sure i saw Dude, other m at five other below. m if you go right now to best buy they will have three rows of like like 30 copies of other m Jeez. every other game they'll have a normal number of copies but they have always had 30 copies of Other M because they can't get rid of it. It's such a shitty game and no one bought it and everyone has copies of it and they're just sitting there rotting at game stores everywhere. Um, I don't know if that's true of everyone's Best Buy, but it's true of ours. It, it cracks me God, up every the, fucking time. Uh, the question to ask is, who out there is if finding someone who actually likes the game? Right. I mean, there's some people who... like. Mechanically, it's it's interesting, uh -huh. but the story is so bad Isn't there, like, and it shits all over Samus, Samus as a character. Or something? Or what is the that starts in Metroid like... Prime too. Yeah, I think she is another M as well. Actually, really, it starts with Metroid Fusion with the SAX. Fusion. But um, that's not quite the same. Dark Samus shows up in in the second game because Metroid Prime Two has like a Dark World Light World thing, where like you uh like your light ammo works on dark enemies and your light ammo works on dark enemies and like you have to <laughs> manage manage your different ammo capacities it's hard as fuck metroid prime 2 is considered like one of the hardest games ever made basically is it good though i haven't played it but i've heard it's great ever it's gotten stellar reviews it's just hard I think as shit much like all of the the metroid prime trilogy has gotten like yeah good, pretty good great reviews. reviews um but anyways yeah the new one looks like garbage and it pisses me off and i hate it and uh, I think they said, uh, someone mentioned this, I haven't watched it yet, uh, that in the Nintendo World Championship, they were playing a game that was part of Metroid Prime uh, Federation Force, but they didn't call it that. They called yeah. it, like, something else, and then when, like, when that trailer came out, it became apparent that it was Metroid Prime, and that leads me to believe, like, that maybe it was not developed as a Metroid game. Like, they just That's tacked the name on, possible. and they were like, oh, well, it's got space people, so Why would Nintendo do that, though? Nintendo's, like, beloved... And sort of, they kind of had Star like Fox. A, a disappointing E3 this year. I think Nintendo. Yeah. I been found it really decline. enjoyable <laughs> because of Star Fox. Well, that and all the Mother News and right. all my favorite games. 
but like Street Fighter Five. But the thing is, like, so well, we're talking about Nintendo, but like, Fallout so much Street of Fighter Nintendo's 5. shit was stuff that was announced last year. <laughs> right. You know? like, like, Xenoblade was really exciting last year. Yeah. Fucking, uh, all that shit. Well, they just, I think they just released Mario Maker. Uh, yeah, that was released last or announced last year. Mm -hmm. But I think they've actually about. officially announced the dates thing. to Xenoblade. Uh, it's like X, the boss. Chronicles X. No. Uh, I thought that or Xenoblade. Is it Xenoblade X or? That's my boss. Yeah, I think it's Chronicles X. Hey, boss. Anyway, that's about it for this episode of Digi Bros. We're fighting uh, robots. Next time, we fight more yeah. robots. clumsy robots. Fifty nine. Yeah, still get away. For the ending.